the government feels that the market price isn't fair to either buyers or sellers, they may implement a price control. In economics terms, a price control is a minimum or maximum price set such that it cannot adjust to equilibrium levels. Price controls are regulations imposed by the government that are aimed at protecting consumers and sellers, and they include establishing a price floor or a price ceiling. These interventions happen for policy and social reasons, not to address market failures. Who benefits from the price control depends on whether a minimum or maximum price is imposed. An effective price floor is a minimum price set higher than the equilibrium price that a seller can charge for a good or a service. These price floors are implemented in markets when governments believe that sellers aren't earning enough for their good or service. Minimum wage is an example of a price floor in a labor market. Businesses, the buyer in this case, cannot legally pay a worker less than the minimum wage. With a price floor, the market is not in equilibrium because these high prices cause the quantity supplied to be greater than the quantity demanded. Employers pay more for labor than they would at the equilibrium level, and more workers are willing to work at this higher wage than if the wages were lower, creating a surplus of workers. This surplus of workers implies that there are people who are willing and able to work, but who cannot find jobs. An effective price ceiling is a maximum price set below the equilibrium price that a seller can charge for a good or service. Price ceilings are implemented whenever governments believe that prices are too high for a good or service. Rent control is a popular example of a price ceiling. In this case, rent cannot exceed the maximum price set by the government even though the market may want it to be higher. Lower rent makes it possible for more people to afford the basic need of shelter, particularly in more expensive cities. With a price ceiling, again, the market is not in equilibrium because the quantity demanded is greater than the quantity supplied. Producers earn less revenue than they would at the equilibrium level and supply fewer goods than consumers demand. This causes a shortage in the market. Both price floors and ceilings, when binding, create deadweight loss. Deadweight loss is the loss to the economy because resources are being used inefficiently. Equilibrium prices and quantities are determined by the intersection of supply and demand. And when supply and demand are not in equilibrium, deadweight loss occurs. Although the reasons for putting price ceilings and floors in place differ, the resulting inefficiency in both cases is caused by the government imposing a price that is different from the equilibrium price.